is up guys, I'm back and welcome back to the channel and look at this, we're back to this thing I was doing, I don't know why, I, I don't know why I changed it, um, but I'm really happy to be back. I apologize for being a little late for this review, I have been under doing a lot of stress, I've been trying to get things figured out and I'm finally able to come back and make videos, which I'm very happy about, um, and yeah, uh, but you guys, I could not be more excited to make this review, as in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the APC Wander Warrior, aka a third party version of Transformers Prime Wheeljack. Guys, when I tell you I have been hunting and looking for these APC figures, I have been searching for so long, it has been unbelievable, like the amount of time that I've spent is ridiculous. Like. I, I genuinely don't know how I didn't find any till now, but I have to give a massive shout out to Shozy Store. This is my very first, uh, blah, 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 right, uh-huh, right. Um, this is my very first figure that I bought from them and this, they did not disappoint. They did an amazing job. Packaging was great, shipping was great. If you guys haven't bought them from me yet, I'm gonna link the figure in the description down below. So if you wanna check them out, you can uh, grab them from there. And Wheeljack was by far one of the most interesting characters of Transformers Prime. As, a, as you look at a lot of his other iterations, he's a lot more different than his other versions, which I love. I love how, just how unique this version of Wheeljack is. Uh, but if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video when it comes up. Comment down below if you guys have any APC figures, and if you do, which ones are they? I would love to know, and I'd love to see uh, what you guys have. But with that, let's go and check out this figure. Alrighty guys, here we are with the Transformers APC Wander Warrior, AKA TFP Wheeljack. And this is genuinely one of the most interesting character designs I've ever seen. And this is my very first APC figure, which I love. Again, big shout out to Shozy Store. Um, I absolutely love the look of this guy. They did a fantastic job. And if you guys haven't, Go to the link down below, go to their store. They have an amazing, amazing store and shows the store. If you ever see this and you want to maybe talk a sponsorship, just, you know, maybe, maybe, I don't mind. Um, but before we get into the figure, we're going to, of course, do our usual, take a look at his packaging. So as you can see, we have TFP Wheeljack on the front. We have Wander Warrior, it says recharge there. On this side, we have a little bit of a uh, greener looking look for him. Again, Wander Warrior. On this side of the box, we have the barcode, which takes you to the instructions, which I think all of them have that. I don't know. It says Blades on this side. It's one of Wheeljack's swords. On the top, we have Wander Warrior in his vehicle mode. On the bottom, uh, Wheeljack again. Uh, worn, not suitable for under three years old. Keep that in mind, guys. And on the back side of the box, amazingly, we just have another look at his vehicle mode. Um, what we talk about is, uh, wait. What we talk about is Robo Fighter in hidden modes. Okay, never seen that before. And obviously we have Wonder Warrior again. And with that, that's it for the packaging. So taking a look at the APC uh, Wonder Warrior, AKA uh, TFP Wheeljack. This is actually a very interesting looking design. Like I'm really, really liking the look of this. Of course, no Autobot logo because it is a third party figure. So you guys have to keep that in mind. These are not figures sanctioned by Hasbro or Takara, so they're not gonna have any sort of Autobot or Decepticon logos. Uh, so just a little something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, this guy just looks absolutely fantastic. So as we get into the details on this guy, just look at that. And this is one of the like one of the three different head sculpts that he has, which I think this looks absolutely incredible. Like this is amazing. And he does actually have light piping. I will show that in a uh, in a shot right here but as you can see he does actually have light piping which is really cool and like the the detailing this these guys were not messing around when they did the detailing on this guy like seriously they did an absolutely fantastic job at the look of this guy like seriously like everything everything just looks right with this figure and something that not even most in like most character or figures from hasbro can do this is by far one of the cleanest backs I've ever seen, if not the cleanest. And this is a great figure to get, especially in 2024. I have been eyeing their Red Gladiator, so if you guys would like to see a review of that, let me know. I haven't picked it up yet, and I'm, but I'm really hoping to. Now, I do know that in the packaging, um, he does come uh, like this. Um, and I believe in the show, it's like this. 
Uh, I don't know, actually. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that more. But yeah, overall, the detailings are absolutely fantastic. So as we get into the posability for this guy, he does have a ball joint at the head, which allows you to look really, really far up and really, really far down. And I love that. I think that's like by far one of the most important things because you have him be like looking down at like Miko or Jack, you know what I mean? Like it's crazy. He does have a full rotation at the arm. The arm can move out, not that much, but if you fold this down, yeah, okay, not really much of a difference. Uh, you do, there is a little joint here that allows you to shift the arm up and down. Um, if you go and bring this up, he does have a, uh, technically a double bend, but it's more, uh, more two separate bends than anything. Um, he does actually come with a single piece of articulation in the fingers, and due to transformation, the wrist can move in and out. Uh, and you do, of course, also get a swivel here at the elbow. Uh, not too much about it. Uh, no waist swivel, unfortunately, or ab crunch, which that's definitely a negative for me, but it's no big deal. Uh, the legs can kick up a little bit. The legs can kick back really, really far. And for my Javi fans out there, let us see if he tests. He does! He passes the beautiful spread! And he does actually have a thigh swivel. He has a bend at the knee. This piece is articulative, uh, articulatable. And he does have a ball joint at the foot, which allows for an ankle swivel. And his pivot ain't that bad. And of course, he can move the foot up and down. So overall, overall, this is a very, very well articulated figure. And if you're looking to get him into some poses with maybe Ultra Magnus or Bulkhead, of course, they don't have Ultra Magnus out just yet. Um, but I'm really, really excited to see what APC does come out with in the future. Um, now I did actually keep all his, his accessories in, um, in a poly bag. You get about three of these bags, I think, for his accessory, which is a really, really nice touch. First of all, you get, uh, two different types of swords. You get these swords, which I think these are meant to store on his back. So you can see there's these little pieces right here. You just slide, just slide these in, and now you can actually store his swords on his back, which is really, really cool. I don't think the original figure did that. Um, and then you also get um, these, which I think these are supposed to be like the original swords, um, but they're obviously painted a lot more. So you just, you know, you bring this into the hand, you wrap the fingers around it, and yeah, it's a, it's a snug fit once you get it right. You get it right in there, then it is a snug fit, which is nice. And these ones are a little bit smaller than the um, than the other blades, so it's a little unfortunate. Not a big deal though. Um, and these are overall very very fantastic sword weaponry. But that's actually not that's not the only stuff he includes. He also comes with these um, these little blasters. So if we just uh, go ahead and uh, well, first of all, we can take a look at some of the detailing that's on this, which I think is very very impressive. This is very very well detailed. Now. The way to get these out, it took me a second, but you just, um, you bring this, it's kind of on like a move piece, so you have to like move it down and then rotate this around and then bring it back up. I don't want to call it a pin joint, but if that is what it is, then be sure to let me know in the comments down below. So again, you do the same thing on this side, fold this around, like so, and now you have his cannons, which is really, really cool. Now, I think this is supposed to go on like specific hands, but you basically just, um, well, you just slide them over the hands. Now, admittedly, these aren't really the greatest cannons in the world, especially when you compare them to the show. These are not that accurate, which is a little unfortunate. It's not a big deal, though. Um, for me, at least, it's not a huge deal. I just wish they were a little bit more accurate. And of course, for some reason, this this hand, this cannon in particular for this hand, never wants to go in, like ever. It's ridiculous. Uh, did I just get it? Did I get it? Nope, I didn't get it. Fantastic. Come on. Get. Come on. Get it. it, 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 it. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. Okay, you know what? We'll just. We'll leave that out. We'll leave that out. We'll leave it out. Um. But yeah, actually, I mean, from a from a wide, from a longer distance, it looks pretty proper. Looks like the actual weapons. And an accessory I wasn't expecting to see in this uh, figure, he comes with a freaking grenade. Guys, and the best part, um, this piece right here uh, where the pin's at, 
if you get your fingernails in there, you can actually remove the pin. Which if you guys don't know, in the show, this is spoilers obviously, but in the show, there was a moment where Wheeljack and Ratchet had basically pulled out the pin of this thing to inject, you know, kind of put it into laser beak, like a turducket. And if you guys understand that, it's because you've seen the show. But be sure to go watch Transformers Prime, it's a fantastic show. Now, I don't really know of any way that Wheeljack can actually hold the grenade. I mean, I have thought of, I have tried to get it to work. Um, it just doesn't really ever want to go in, as far as I've seen. It might also, like, I don't know. Oh, never mind. I got it. <laughs> that was that wasn't even that wasn't even intentional. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Um, but yeah. And then the final accessories, which is by far the best accessories in here, you get alternate heads guys you get two alternate heads i currently have the smiley face in but you get one angry face and you get his masked up face which if you guys want to know how to install those you basically want to take the chest you want to fold it up fold the head in this is a little bit of spoiler for transformation um and then you just want to pop it out from here that's definitely the safest spot and i'm going to go ahead and put in the battle mask one because i really like the look of this thing so you just uh, take this, and obviously it's on a uh, it's on a ball joint. So you just plug it in, and then uh, you just rotate this around, fold it, fold everything back in. And there's actually some tabs here and here that go into these two slots here. That's basically how you like keep the whole chest together. Which, if you guys have the original R.I.D. figure, then that's probably the same way. I don't know. I never had that figure, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, seriously though, like this guy is just super, super impressive. I'm really, really liking the look of this guy. Admittedly, okay, I won't even lie. The, the arms do feel a little long for me, but I'm gonna rewatch the show, see if that's accurate or not, but we'll see. So, for some size comparisons, here he is with a average modern day studio series, Studio Series Mirage, and it's not bad. He is a little bit bigger than Mirage, but this is honestly kind of cool scaling. Here he is with a modern Voyager, that being the Voyager class Cheetor. And this is also kind of a cool scaling between the two. It's, it's really, really impressive how like APC have basically taken the RID designs and made them more accurate, which is really, really cool. Um, since I don't have any other APC figures, here he is with the Rise of the Beast Voyager class Optimus Prime and obviously Prime towers over this guy. Like, this guy just towers over Wheeljack, which is crazy, but also not crazy. And finally, here he is just because with the leader class Optimus Primal in his beast mode. Which, yeah, it looks pretty good, I won't even lie. This looks very, very nice. So, moving to Wheeljack's transformation. Um, it was a little complex at first, but with time, you pick up on it. So what you want to do first is you want to take... I'm gonna get the camera to focus first. What you wanna do is you wanna take these two pieces, you wanna fold them into each other till they click together like that. Uh, that's already gonna form like kinda like the, the top of the car. Next, what you wanna do is if you haven't already, you're gonna bend the uh, arm all the way. Then you're gonna bend this up until, basically until it just kinda lines up or I guess plugs in like that. So you should have a straightened out arm. You want to actually, you want to take this hand, fold it in, and then you want to take the actual wrist, fold it in as well, bring it out, fold this around, and then kind of just smush, you know, not really smush it into place. But you basically want to just do it like that. And then you want to do the same thing on this side. So just fold this in, and you then want to, come on, come on, there we go. Like so. Just want to get it to work, fold this down, Fold this up, get this to work, there we go. And we're now gonna leave the top alone as we're gonna focus on the legs. So now what you wanna do is you wanna fold, no, 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 you wanna fold them this way. So you want them to be facing away from each other because you now want to take uh, this piece, you wanna fold both of these pieces up, you wanna shift them up, yes, they do shift. Um, well, actually, no, what you wanna do first is you wanna fold the feet down as far as they go. Then you want to fold these pieces around just to get them out of the way. And then you're going to shift them forward. Now, there is a little tab here that will go into this slot here. So you just want to kind of fiddle with it until it goes in. 
and you're gonna do the same thing for this side. You can also like fold this down, which makes tabbing it in a heck of a lot easier. Just gotta line it up like so. Now you wanna bring the feet together. Uh, there's these, uh, there's this tab here and a slot here, same thing on the other side. And that is basically what keeps it all together. Now there's one more thing to do for the front. And what I like to do actually is I like to take uh, one of Wheeljack's swords and actually kind of get it in there. Cause you want to basically get it around this part and then you just want to kind of flick at it. You kind of want to just keep going until you get it up high enough to where you can then fold it underneath here. And this form, this kind of fills out the little awkward uh, gaps in the front of the car. Okay, you just wanna, come on. It takes a second. Now you gotta be very careful with these swords, the ones that are thinner, because this is very thin plastic as far as I can tell. Um, it's very flimsy, so just keep that in mind. But you basically just wanna bring it up until it's about to there. Now for the very interesting part of this guy's transformation. You want to take this piece, fold it up. You wanna take the head, fold it in, rotate it around so that it's facing towards you now. You then wanna take this whole piece, shift it forward like so. Actually, I think you're supposed to have the head in like that. And then you basically wanna just take this, compress it in, and then you're gonna take the whole torso. You're gonna to bring it up while bringing the arms up. And then you're gonna then come back here. You're gonna fold these pieces up. And you're basically just, now there's a tab here that will go into that slot there. That will basically solidify that piece. And you're almost done. The final thing to do now is to incorporate a little uh, piece right here, this hinge joint that will allow you to fold these in. And you're basically just gonna kinda well, you're basically gonna have to like fiddle with it almost. So there is actually um, a tab here that will go into this slot here. And then there are tabs on the inside of the car here and here that will allow you to kind of bring everything together. So you basically just wanna, like I said, just fiddle with it until everything goes into place like so. Uh, you also wanna watch out for the sides. You wanna just, um, just wanna kinda like fiddle with it. Now some things might get on tab, that's no problem. Uh, just wanna, you know, kinda like compress it all, give it a little squeeze, and there we go. So there is Wheel Jack in his karma, and that's his head. Uh-oh. Hee! Hee, boy. So there we go. Here is Wheel Jack in his car mode. And this is, very, very accurate. Like this is very, very well done on a third party company's part. Like I always knew that third party figures were good, but I never knew they were this good. Now, of course, like I said, uh, sometimes pieces will get undone. Um, I don't know if it's just my copy or not, but as you can see, the detailing on this guy is absolutely insane. From taking the robot mode to the vehicle mode, it's just really, really well done. I'm loving this. Like this is genuinely really, really well done. Now, even looking, even looking at the bottom, it's very, very well cleaned up too. Of course you just get, you know, his legs and his head just sticking in there. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> oh man. Man, that is just, that that is a little strange. Um, now I do know that you can, well, you can try to kind of store all the, uh, all the weapons on the car mode, which I know that you can take, uh, wait, no, I think it's supposed to be this one over here. But you can, of course, take the cannons and you can put them there. There's nowhere to put the, um, the alternate heads, just to keep that in mind. But um, you can just fold those into there. You can just kind of bring those in and uh, now, what a problem with me? I don't know why, but the, uh, man. the for some reason this one piece, either the windshield or this particular side, just doesn't want to click with me, which is so so weird. I don't know why it does that for me. It's so strange. I don't know if it's just my copy or not. If other people end up getting this figure, then we'll find out. Um, but it's still a great figure nonetheless. And then the swords, 
Um, I think you can actually store them on the bottom somewhere. I don't know where, though. Uh, I will look into that. But, yeah, overall, this is a very, very nice car mode. I'm going to also get rid of the guns, because, I mean, who's going who's gonna to carry weapons in a car? Come on. Come on. So, for some quick uh, comparisons, here he is with the off-road Bumblebee. I know this is a little bit different, but I just wanted to show you this. As you can see, he's a little bit smaller than Bumblebee, but uh, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Here he is with the Core Class RC. And I really want to get the APC Angel Engine. Really want to get my hand on that. Um, I think that that would be a very, very nice uh, figure to have and to continue growing my APC collection. Here he is again with the leader class Optimus Primal. And of course, Primal obviously dwarfs him in scaling now. Uh, but yeah. So overall, the APC wa uh, Wandering, is it Wandering? Nope, Wander, Wander Warrior. The APC Wander Warrior. What is my overall rating on this guy? I'm going to have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. This is an amazing, amazing figure and an incredible redone version of this character. I absolutely love the way this looks. Do I recommend it? Very much so. That's why I'm putting the link in the description down below for you guys that want to get this guy. Um, if you're growing to, if you're hoping to collect more Transformers Prime figures and even or if you want to get some third party figures, APC is a group I would recommend. But with that, that's going to mark the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, comment down below what is your APC most wanted figure, or even if you have a most wanted figure in general. Uh, be sure to turn on that bell notification so you don't miss another video. And with that, that has been your boy, Thundermus Prime, signing off. Be sure to, well, I mean, what else can I say other than have a good day? And wisdom cannot be granted. It must be earned, sometimes at a cost. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good day, until all are one.